Hello and welcome, over here, and welcome back to the Betray League. And by the way, I just want to say today, Merry Christmas everyone, because here today it is Christmas in Sweden. We are celebrating Christmas today. But that's not the most important thing. I'm going to talk about my build, my... Uh, my... Uh, incinerate build, and how it has been going so far. By the way, I'm playing in the safe houses. And uh, by the way, I just want to say one other thing. I have had a very hard time finding high level maps. I think the highest map I have found and dropped for me is a tier uh, 8 map only. And I don't know why I'm probably doing something. They are probably saying something, but I have a very hard time finding new high level maps. And trading for high level maps, they are actually expensive. Even tier 10 maps that used to be dirt cheap. We're actually costing quite a bit, so yeah. But I'm gonna talk about this build in uh, in more detail when I reach the boss and defeat the boss for this area. By the way, my I still really much love the Betray League. This league has been so much fun to play. So uh, absolutely love this league so far. And I actually very much love playing melee again in a league, like it had been fun to play Facebreak again. It was a long time ago since I really played Facebreaker. It was just as powerful as ever. Hello, Tura. Hmm. Let's put you in there. Getting closer to <laughs> the. Well, let's uh, ta actually talk about the build right now. Man, you're talking a lot. Man, you really want to kill Burpurans. <laughs> sort of that intervention. I haven't heard that dialogue before. Anyway, let's talk about the build. And actually, I'm gonna ta start by talking about my items for if you're gonna understand how the build works. If you don't know what face break is, the build is built around this pair of gloves here. This is basically my weapons. If you're gonna make a face break build and not use a weapon, you can see an unarmed, I just hitting people with my fist. That's why I have that name. <laughs> Jokes aside, you must have this item here. This is what uh, makes this build to this build. And the thing that makes these gloves special it is the. You can see I have like 786% uh, more physical damage when unarmed, which means uh, all uh, like flat physical damage give me a huge boost to damage. So I want flat physical damage to attacks on everything I can have it on. So these gloves are like the core. So I have flat physical damage on my rings. I have it on my belt. And I have a lot on my helmet. I'm going to talk about them in a second. So these gloves is absolutely mandatory if you're going to make a build like this. And when it comes to my rings, as I said for a second ago, I want flat physical damage. I also want life and resistance. And getting good resistance is hard in this build. Because my helmet, no resistance. My shield, no resistance. My amulet, no resistance. And my belt, pretty much no resistance. And the face breaker, no resistance. So getting good resistance is quite a challenge when it comes to this build. But anyway, I, dig I digress. So both my rings, I upgraded these rings by the way since the last video. And uh, flat physical damage and resistance in life. And also want some uh, intelligence on them as well. Using this 16 armor, it's nothing special, but it has some decent life and some decent resistance. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can upgrade this one later when I get currency for it. Or maybe get lucky. Uh, I'm using Abyssus, and I know many of you that know what Abyssus is are thinking, you are a glass cannon. Well, I sort of are, but only to f uh, physical damage. And the main reason for me to using Abyssus is actually the huge amount of added physical damage. 
but also the melee critical strike multiplier and I'm gonna talk more about the crit in a second. One important thing when if you're gonna go and get an abusus, you can see the last mod on it which is increased physical damage taken. You want that mod to be as low as possible. The lower that mod is, you you less damage you are taking from physical attacks. And speaking on crit before, uh, I'm using this amulet here, which I talked about in my last video with this character. This amulet, Rigwald's Curse, allows your uh, unarmed attack to crit. You get 7% uh, to base crit chance when you are unarmed. It also allows claw modifiers to damage, attack speed and crit chance to apply to unarmed instead. So I really like this amulet here. Unfortunately, it has no life, it has no flat physical damage. But hey, you can't get everything right. But this amulet, I really like it, but it's relatively expensive as well. And I'm using my favorite shield in the entire game. This shield has one thing that makes this one a fantastic shield. It is that uh, your hits can't be evaded, so you can't miss with your attacks. But overall, it also has quite good block chance. Uh, and it also give a huge amount of cold damage to counter attacks, which is quite nice. But again, it has no resistance. But this shield is, as I said before, my favorite shield in the entire game. Uh, let's go move on. I'm using these boots here. It's not the best, but and I'm probably going to upgrade them soon. But they are good enough. I could have some more uh, movement speed and some resistance. Some fine resistance on them would be absolutely fantastic. And make it easier, but. I will see what I do in later. I'm using Megalodor's Girdle for mainly for the flat again flat physical damage. You could probably use an Abyssus Abyssus uh, Abyssus Jewel belt, which you can have two Abyssus Jewel in, and have a lot of uh, flat physical damage on them. That would probably work as good by using this belt so far. But I might try out the other belt later. And that's pretty much my gear. If you have any questions about it, please let me know. And before I forget it, I'm using uh, one anti-bleed flask, one anti-shock flask, which is, the shock part is not that important, but the increased recovery rate is quite nice. I'm using a diamond flask for some uh, for some good a better chance to crit. I'm using a movement speed flask because I love quicksilver flask. And I'm using a protective flask against the uh, physical damage. And that's pretty much my... Uh, my uh, item setup. Let's take a look at my uh, skill tree right now. Starting with Ascendancy. I have ascended three times. I went for Painforged, Versatile Combatant, because I really want that block chance. And Violent Retaliation. Again, block chance is key to my survival, so I want high block, as high block chance as I can get. Now I'm finally gonna find the last freaking trial I'm looking for. I'm definitely going to take Blood in the Eye. To get a good boost to my damage. Let's take a look at my uh, other my skill tree. Now. Uh, my skill tree. I have uh, my I took the attack speed in the beginning here. Went for the physical damage, armor evasion, and life here. Went for muscle arena, which give me which increases my whale, melee uh, weapon range and unarmed attack range, and uh, cyclone or scaling with. Uh, melee range so this one is absolutely fantastic to have together with the uh, cyclone to increase my uh, aoe i use bravery and i have artificial gladiator i have defiance again i want that block chance and also increases my physical damage when i'm holding a shield which i do i have a yule here which is wall of reach which you get from a uh, quest so this one is how uh, yes uh, so easy to get Again, increases my weapon range uh, and unarmed attack range, which is why I'm using it. I have Golem's Blood as well. And I have a Tostudu, again, the block chance. Can't stress that enough. <coughs> but that's my main uh, defense. It's my block chance. And also have Retaliation, also nice damage increase. I have Cloak and Shane. And I really like Cloak and Shane because of the uh, elemental resistance and also the armor and the uh, evasion rating is quite nice, but I really need that resistance. I have Vitality Void and Iron Reflexes. Uh, this is actually my only source of mana I need when I have uh, as, as much damage as I have right now. 
it is perfectly fine to sustain my, uh, my mana forever, as long as I hurting some enemies. Then I actually went to the to the range area. I went for Command of Steel. Again, you probably know what I'm gonna say. I really, really like that block chance. It also increases my damage quite a bit uh, with 20% physical damage when holding a shield. <coughs> oh, another Yule Sock here. I went for an, uh, an Abyssal Yule, and that's what I want. You want Abyssal Yule with flat physical damage and life on. I have Fitness for some nice attack speed. Could probably take Quick Step as well, but uh, not that necessary actually. I have whatever this is called, again, you know what I'm gonna say, the block chance, and also the attack damage is quite nice. I have weapon, whatever this is called. It's a little bit fun that this weapon arrow sorcery when I'm not using a weapon, but in reality, a shield is basically a weapon, so yeah, in reality actually. And I went for aspect of the links. And then I have Harbalism, and I'm going to take this one as soon as I level up, because I want, my goal is to have at least 5,500 life, if I can get to that goal. So we will see about that. Then I move this way here, and I, <coughs> sorry, another Yule Socket here, with uh, flat physical damage to attacks and life. I have Sentinel here, mainly for the resistance, but Armory Renovation is quite nice as well. I wish I could just drop this one, but I really want that resistance to be maxed out. I have this whole big life wheel here as well, and I have Path of Oil, which I may continue to have or may not continue to have. I haven't really decided yet. It's a good note, but I might need to spend that point on something else. <coughs> and I went to the Marauder area, took Warrior's Blood. Heart of the Warrior and Born to Fight. And yes, I have Diamond Skin. Again, uh, re getting max resistance is a little bit difficult. As you can see, I don't have max resistance on fire. I'm close, but not really yet. You can see if I can fix that later, maybe, when I change my boosts. But I have Diamond Skin for now. I have Solidarity, and I'm not gonna say it. You know what I'm gonna say. Uh, I have Juggernaut, I have another Dual Socket here, this one gives me flat physical damage to Claws, which works, thanks to this one here, I can take flat physical damage for Claws, which means I can get both flat physical damage to attacks and flat physical damage to Claw attacks at the same time, which is quite nice. We also have Life, and I also have la actually have the attack speed on this one, I actually craft this one myself, so I'm quite happy with it. <coughs> Sorry. I have Barbarism for some <coughs> life and also some resistance. And finally, I have Disembowering for some nice crit chance. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. So let's take a look at my uh, skill game setup. I'm using uh, Vol Cyclone. I'm using uh, Vol Cyclone, the ability itself, for clearing uh, large packs of monsters and just clearing maps. But then for boss, uh, but there are dangers by using Vol Cyclone. That is, uh, uh, Vol Cyclone, you can't cancel it, and there are some enemies that will explode after a few seconds of delay. And if they're piling up on you, that can be dangerous. But that's a risk I'm willing to take because it's so much fun to use. Other than that, I used to use the normal Cyclone. Uh, normal, uh, my Cyclone are supported by Mame. Uh, melee physical damage, uh, brutality, cre incre increased critical strikes, and faster attacks. Brutality means that I'm doing 100% physical damage and no chaos damage and no elemental damage with my cyclone. I went for that setup for now and I really like it, but I might change this to do some elemental damage, maybe. But so far it has been working really well and it do a ton of damage, so I'm quite happy with it. My other setups, and let's see if I can find it, it is Shield Charge, which is my movement skill, of course. And it is supported by Fortify, so I get some protection when I charge into enemies. Uh, faster attack, so I can do it faster. I also have Power Charge or Critical Strike. So when I crit someone with my Shield Charge, I have a, <coughs> uh, I have a quite good chance of getting a Power Charge, which increases my damage a lot, because it increases my uh, crit chance. I also have a, a Reckoning setup, because Counter-Strikes do a lot of damage, especially when you consider that uh, 
I'm a gladiator and painforge double the damage of uh, uh, counter uh, counter attacks, which uh, reckoning are. So it do a lot of damage to enemies. It also supports uh, supported by power charge and critical strike, and critical strike. So this one can generate me power charges as well. And here we have um, pretty much a must have for a face breaker reel nowadays. That is hand, uh, Herald of Purity because it gives you flat physical damage, which is absolutely amazing. Actually, leveling up two of them because I want to see if I can corrupt one of them and get even a higher level to get even a little bit more, uh, uh, get a, even a little bit more uh, physical damage from it. My other uh, our setup, which is a blasphemy setup with vulnerability, so the enemies take. Increased damage by being close to me and being hit by my physical damage. And then we have a constant damage taken with Arctic Breath to slow down some enemies. Maybe it's not the best candidate, but I have it anyway. And Tempest Shield for some even better block chance. Also, do a small bit of damage to enemies. Also, using Blood Rage for some nice damage increase. You can see my damage and DPS right there. If I activate it, my damage goes up well, about 10,000. It also gives me, uh, <coughs> it also gives me uh, frenzy shots when I, I have a chance to give me frenzy shots when I kill uh, enemies with it, which is really nice. It also increases my attack speed and leech, so it's pretty much a must-have in my opinion. And what more do we have? I think that was all actually. I think I haven't missed anything. So tell me what you think about my build like this. And again, Merry Christmas to all of you. And uh, I will see you guys.